some of those jump nares so we could get the hits. Yeah, this could honestly just turn into a match of two characters just eating each other repeatedly, <laughs> which is... <laughs> Which is gonna really weird once you start to think about it, but here we go, game I one. Pause, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I started things. I mean, you know what? At least you, like you serving them up eggs, where the other one was serving them up like spicy Gordo. meatballs, I guess. <laughs> the spiky meatballs, <laughs> and that's a meatball. Let me tell you. But here we go. We're gonna get this combo started here, putting out a couple of those up airs, getting the the eat to try to put the egg down. Not gonna get a whole lot of damage, but so far, fairly even. Yeah, that's a really good option at ledge, too. Both of them really good ledge shot characters because of the egg being able to control the large frame of DDD while also, oh, looking for a hard read down okay. on like a narrow and landing or an air dodge, but I'm here for it. Listen, I know a lot of Yoshis do like to be aggressive just coming down. Like, even if you hit them, they're gonna just come right back it. at you with that nair, uh, maybe even a down or super active move. So I don't blame Bryce for going for that, at least really early. Try to set the tone, mm -hmm. let Pharaoh know, hey, if you slip up, I will. Beat the hell out of you. Yeah, the big green button is definitely a very large uh, option they like to use mm -hmm. on landing off the ground. And that big green button, while holding forward, equals that spike, and that is calling out to jump. Trying to read the roll, but actually a little bit too late on pulling the trigger there, Skiff. Yeah, but okay, we got a nice little back here trying to close out that stock. Not gonna be able to find it. Yoshi does have a little bit of weight on them as well. Oh, oh, still got the air dodge getting back to the ledge. That's really good. You force out the double jump armor, you make them have to air dodge in or possibly mess up the timing. And if you catch them later on by conditioning what that and you catch that big body dash mm -hmm. attack, that'll blow up Yoshi. Yeah, we saw Bryce try to chase up there with the up air. Not going to be able to get the confirm or any sort of hit out of it, but that's fine, man. At least you're just putting that pressure on Pharaoh, letting them know they can't travel anywhere safely. The up tilt, I was telling you about it earlier. Going to take that first stop. Are we sure DDD's not a part of Mario Cast? Because that's sure as hell <laughs> looking exactly like those up smashes, and it is such a strong move at that now, too. Good usage of using, I, I like the up tilt there to call, like make sure that any double jumps he tries to do gets caught out by the multi hit. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. There we go. We're going to see the trades with the Gordos and the eggs, all sorts of stuff here, man. Uh, the Gordo really should not be that much of a problem, but the thing is, is, it puts on good pressure like that, forces your opponent to stay in shield, and they are not confident in trading with it, and it allows DD to get those grabs. The ledge trap scenarios are so huge. Looks for the up smash there. Won't be able to get it. Jumps over the down smash, though. Yeah, you see both of them kind of respecting each other at center stage. Now, like, DD doesn't have the best burst options, but he does have a giant hammer, and if you happen to make a mistake like that, especially at the ledge, he's probably going to be looking for a jump right here. No, he said, sets him up with the grab, and now that's going to scare Bryce, excuse me, Farrell to oh, jump, but he went deep and missed the fair skip. Yeah, honestly, just really, really close to land that fair. That fair would have absolutely killed another fast move from DDD, especially off stage. Just kills, doesn't get the up smash some way, somehow. You know, Pharaoh's putting in the cheat code. We're talking about the Konami code earlier, allowed the Yoshi to dodge that attack. Evading taxes and evading a <laughs> that definitely should hit. That time, though, the drag down misses out, and go. he ends up getting the cash out. He was looking for the back air, gets the hit. And now, this is this is the time where you have 97% trade with Yoshi a bit. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. Try to build up this damage. You don't need to push anything you don't need to. Ah, that could have been dangerous. Just does get to survive a little bit longer, even with the up air just being as strong as it can be. And man, dude, he's eating these eggs, and these are nasty. Take them back. Yo, I asked for over easy, please, much like this <laughs> matchup. I am not afraid of you at all, but finally at 150 plus, they're around 170. Even with the weight DDD, at some point, that up air is going to get the kill. Mm -hmm. And now this is going to be really interesting to see how Pharaoh plays the rest of this game. They've been a little patient, you know, because they realize that Bryce is kind of punishing a lot of the stuff they're trying to get down here. But look at this, 79% already, right? A couple more hits should really put Bryce in a good position. Beautiful inhale. Gonna be able to really control the space of the stage here. I like how he did that too. He threw out a couple of just whiffed aerials to kind of condition like, hey, look, I think you think I'm gonna narrow something on landing. It's it gets a command grab. Dash gets to left till pushing Feral back once again. He keeps missing the cross up up smash, but luckily gets away from that because short hop down B with a little bit of shield gun actually will just be a quick shield break. Mm -hmm. And that would have been the stock too, especially at 74%. I know, oh, I know DD's a little heavy and that's what I'm talking about. You gotta be careful with those Gordos. Almost gets the up smash. Oh, the no way! Is that going to be it? Oh my god! Bryce finds a way to squeeze out that game one. That is such a strong move, and when you give yourself an opportunity like that to steal away a game, you take it every single time. Even with the great up smash that he got, it is still a hefty boy. DDD refuses to die, and that is a big reason why this matchup could be annoying, as we just saw a second ago. Mm -hmm. And that was like, dude, they, they buffed that move too. I mean, yeah, DDD <laughs> needs it, but like, yeah, that no, up he air, actually needs I remember, it. <laughs> I remember the up air got buffed, uh, the up tilt got buffed, and it's just like, okay, you just buffed these two great moves, now DDD kills off the top pretty easily. Look at that. What? 17, 120, somewhere around there. That's Ooh. so hard to DI too, because if, as you see at the startup of that up air, it moved from the right to the left hand side. And if you don't recognize that as you're shimmying through that up air, you might end up holding in, which yeah. is just in you straight up. I think he was dead regardless it's there, but it's hard to mix it up. It's basically like a low tier uh, Rob up air. You don't know how to <laughs> DI it properly, and if you DI it wrong, you're gonna die, and 90% of the time it's gonna be wrong. <laughs> Yo, these up airs are all broken on all these characters. And I, we, we, you know what I'm just saying? DDD definitely does need it though. You were right. So yeah. starting things. 
things off. Trying to, like, we see that Pharaoh's kind of trying to get these down beasts and maybe get Bryce mm -hmm. to not want to hold shield so much so he can catch him in air dares. But Bryce just keeps winning on the air dares anyways. He really needs to get more of these command grabs. I think more of the uh, Waveland Yoshi egg lays might be a bit better for him in the long term. Mm -hmm. and there we go. We're going to try you know, bounce out a little here, try to create some space, try to change up the uh, the neutral here a little bit. But man, Pharaoh going to get a nice little opening. Going to put on some decent damage, even though Bryce started off hot. Ooh, that could be huge. The down tilt going to stop any sort of pressure Pharaoh was looking for. Yeah, the scramble down to Oh, he actually read that air dodge in. But that time, finally, catching a reverse hit of up smash. It worked, looked for it every other time. And now Bryce already off to a lead. Yeah, man, this is what I love. I mean, I, I don't mean to be biased, but I love it when DDDs are doing well. DDD is a fun character to watch. But there we go. We're going to see if Pharaoh can find a way to turn this around. Try to find a way to even this up a little bit. Whoa, oh, what a recovery. Yo, yo, Jukes. <laughs> I know y'all playing basketball. This man got the best yeah. moves on the court. Yo, he broke his ankles at the ledge, man. He's like, I'm up, I'm down. I don't know where I am, and you don't know either. I'm and I'm just going to start getting some hits in here. The man decides the DDD moving around like that. He doing, he put oh. it away. That double jump armor, uh, excuse me, the up armor coming in clutch. Now, Pharaoh is doing a good job of keeping him stuck at the ledge. He needs one of these nares that as it, or a back okay. air like that, and he finally finds him above the ledge, only taking about 29% on the stock. No, that was actually a kind of a fair point right there. Bryce was spending a little too much time messing around at the ledge and got a punish for it, letting up losing the stock, but still not in a bad position here. Big grab. Wow, going to be putting on just a little bit more damage, but we need Bryce to try and dial this in a little bit more because Pharaoh seems like they're starting to get the hang of this matchup entirely. Yeah, I like the fa exactly what we were just talking about a second ago. More of those command grabs. That is a big character. He's using the inhales. You need to use yours too because you need to make sure that Bryce is jumping a lot so you can get those hard breathe down airs you keep looking for. It. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, probably could have got an up tilt right there after landing with the Nair, but you know what? Tried to, I think, extend it a little bit higher. Put Yoshi a little higher up as well. Tried maybe get a follow up with an up air, which honestly could have taken that stock, but we're going to see the opening right there. Down throw into the forward air. Tried to go for the dash attack, and Pharaoh had to get off that ledge because they lingered a little too long. They were probably dead. That was good patience on winning to do that, too, because a lot of options were covered. Neutral uh, get up was covered by that. Gordo was covering a uh, roll until he decided to wait at the last second. You couldn't jump there either. You had gotten hit. So that was really smart on Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Pharaoh starting to take their time a little bit. We're going to see a forward air putting him off stage. The Gordo coming into play. No fear, though. Egg is here. Need the egg to do a little no, bit more work. Just Sunny, like that. Sunny signed up, baby. The egg could have put him right to the top. Last up. Eggs cracking on top of heads all the way up in the sky. Oh. It gets out of that up air. That would have definitely been it. As you see, Bryce looking for the up tilts. It's a very non committal option. We'll try to find an, uh, an anti air. I like the idea of it, but you need to get. Something at the ledge here. Make sure it doesn't get too far away because we already know. Or you just get the Gordo. No combos necessary. Just get the hit, Skip. <laughs> you just toss the Gordo out. Don't worry, buddy. I got the rest of you. It's a 2v1 in that situation. But right now, we're going to see if Farrell could try to find a way to close this out. They had a nice little lead, but Bryce is battling their way back. Eggs flying, Gordo's flying, Hammer's flying. Yoshi's flying, and, and, coming in, Starman's yeah. flying, everybody just trying to look. Delta getting all the extra airline miles right now. You, right now, Pharaoh getting hit by a lot of Gordos. He would prefer not to be. The mm -hmm. egg toss is a good way to push it back. But that side B somehow evaded getting punished. Because usually when you see that, that's definitely a misinput. Hey, man, it's basically just Sonic Spin Dash. You know, probably even better, too. <laughs> all right. No, no, look no. Here, no. I'm going to take, I'm gonna no, take no, the joking. cap off your head, oh, bro. Man, I can hear the chat already <laughs> clicking and clacking right now on that keyboard. But <laughs> as we get back into this match, we're going to get with that Nair. All right, try to find a way to put Woo! the damage down. The dash attack would have been it. That would have absolutely destroyed it. It is such a strong move. Oh, oh, that right there, right around the shield, catching the jump ball, absolutely not letting him get away. That was loser, so that is going to be the end of Pharaoh's run. And that is Bryce moving on into loser side of top 32. Hey, you know what? Pharaoh did definitely a very good job, though, because, I mean, for the longest time, they're kind of just known as, like, a Wi-Fi warrior for, mm -hmm. for a little bit, especially, you know, the past year and a half. But they definitely come out here. They've shown that they belong offline. They can compete with some of the best. Unfortunately, falling just a little bit short, but, man, you can't even be too mad because Bryce played this phenomenally. Yeah, exactly. And even in that situation right there, the scary part about having him right next to you 